Okay, so for reasons that I don't really understand, the Doom Megawad Club decided this month to play Demon Fear, a uh, 32 level wad that I created back mostly in 1995. Um, the first 25 maps plus the secret levels were made then. The last five were made in 1999 or 2000, I think. Um, I'm going to do these videos uh, in the same chunks that the original games were released, which is basically five maps at a time. Uh, so this is the first chapter, maps one to five. Um, so um, Demon Fear was sort of the first time that I sat down to do a, a big quote unquote project. As you'll see, most of the maps are actually pretty small. Um, and uh, on the first map, the idea is that you're in a, your base, uh, in your room, which is secured, which is why there's a yellow key card in it, uh, and also why you haven't been killed already uh, when the demons attack your uh, attack the base and you have to fight your way out. Uh, because it is your home base, you do actually start uh, able to see the whole map, which I thought was a really cool idea at the time, uh, and then realistically probably isn't because it's very hard to work out where you've been. You'll also notice from looking at the map, there's an awful lot of doors. That's going to be a theme, uh, certainly of the first few maps. Uh, this whole set of five, definitely, uh, and maybe some more. Uh, no secrets, again, because it is your map, uh, your base, rather, uh, which is why um, the opening sector is tagged as a secret. So you can still get 100% in vanilla. Um, so we will kick off. So the first thing you might notice is that is a non-standard texture. Um, I put it together uh, using some kind of tool, I forget exactly what uh, it was back in the day, it wasn't Slade, um, too long ago for me to be using that, um, but uh, some kind of tool that allowed you to take existing um, sector, uh, sorry, texture resources and recompile them, uh, and I replaced all of, basically all of the um, what you call uh, Wolf Wolfenstein textures uh, with a variety of other textures. Uh, one of the things you'll notice straight away um, is that this staircase is too steep and narrow for um, monsters to get up and down, which is a bit of a flaw. And also, I mean, you can actually smack your head into the ceiling if you're moving at any speed. Uh, I do quite like the fact that I did this. Uh, it's just a little bit of a trick. This is obviously where all of the additional player starts were if you're playing in co-op. There's some free ammo, so, you know, let's grab it. Um, and you'll notice all of these doors close again after you've opened them. Yep, that's going to happen a lot. Oh, hey. Hello, Mr. Carcademon. You have opened a door, which has woken up some monsters who will now also open doors. Lucky us. This is, though, obviously not going to be particularly challenging, uh, being the opening map of the set. Uh, you'll notice, obviously, it's also full of kind of doom cute um, sector furniture and the like. Um, that button there opens up that button there which opens up all of the doors on the map, which is how, of course, you get outside to recover the red key, which is actually completely optional. Ooh, look at these thick... Sh this is this is me being lazy back in the day um, and uh, just doing a 32-wide door um, rather than kind of trying to offset a 2... 14, a, two uh, a 16 and a 24 size texture. Uh, you do 16 on each side, put 32 in the middle, Nice and simple and easy. And you can, as I said, exit from here. Look at that um, extremely convincing outdoors that I put together. Uh, but, you know, because I'm at least going to play this continuously, um, let's boogie on down here, grab the red key, and snag the secret armory, which is going to make the next map significantly more straightforward. Right, that's map one. Map two, um, 
the concept behind this map is that you have arrived at the local colonel's base because you need to get his car to try and get somewhere secure and of course it's overrun with monsters. What a surprise, hey? I bet you did not see monsters coming in Doom. Demons? In this establishment? Surely not. One thing that I'm kind of thinking about it, I'm not sure why, looking back, I chose to do it that way, but I didn't put any hit scanners in the opening level. Um, which would have made sense. I mean, if your base has been overrun, there should be lots of dead soldiers that you could use. So I'm not sure why. Um, it was 25 years ago, after all. Well, fun seeing all those monsters getting stuck on doors, just what we love. Um, quality work there uh, from 25-year-old, uh, or how old was I, 95? Yeah, about, well, yeah, 21-year-old me. Quality, quality work. Uh, lots of narrow doors that, you know, monsters continually open, creating a ho horrendous noise, and that they can't actually, I don't think you can get in this way, yep, you have to go around the back, um, that they can't actually open it, they continually get stuck on. That. That is how you know that I am a pro at making Doom maps. Little details like that. Uh, you can jump in and out of these windows. That was kind of intended as a um, thing that uh, you could make use of in Deathmatch. All of these levels have Deathmatch starts, though. I mean, and co-op starts. How practical either mode actually is. On the other hand, uh, I couldn't say. I We did play some Deathmatch. Oh, look at that, all those doors. Isn't it sexy? Um, we did play uh, some Deathmatch on the maps, um, but, you know, uh, it was not a, s a map set that we spent a lot of time. Have a putter about in the bathroom and grab the SSG, which, let's face it, is much more important than... You only, we only need the red key to finish the map, whereas the SSG we need because, you know, it's the SSG. And this is a red door. It doesn't have any red door trim, but you can see in the map that it's red door. And again, secret so that you get 100% when you leave. Uh, and you, uh, yep. Open the door of the car uh, to leave. Man. Um, great stuff, eh? Um, oh, that's right. Uh, so this map um, is called Getting Gas. Uh, you'll notice um, the map set didn't have um, any kind of title pick. Uh, it also... Um, doesn't have uh, new music unless you download a separately released um, Demon Fear MIDI pack that someone created much more recently than this. Um, I forget exactly when that was. Uh, not that long ago, though. A uh, couple of uh, harasser uh, Hell Knights over there that you can basically ignore as long as you don't let them actually hit you. Um oh and in case you missed it earlier I am playing this on uh, Hurt Me Plenty um, uh, rather than UV on UV uh, there is a um, arch file running around uh, Look at all this Eptum furniture, it's great, isn't it? And then uh, mimicking stairs with a... <laughs> mimicking stairs, sorry, with a, uh, with a teleport, because uh, obviously we're off the map at this point. Is there a secret in this map? Probably. I don't remember. It has been a long time since I played these. Um, 
but we now have both the keys we need to finish the map. Yellow key to get in. There is no secret, obviously. And then blue key. I'm going to ignore those two Hell Knights. They're not very important. Okay, this map actually has secrets. I remember one of them. Look at that. Um, how much ammo have I got for that? No, I'm going to go with this guy. So, this kind of thing of standing at the entrance while lots and lots of monsters stream towards you is a bit of a, um, a demon fear pattern, um, as you will experience should you play the maps yourself. Um, It does sometimes create a situation where, sort of after the beginning of the map, there's not a lot for you to actually do except run around looking for where are the keys that I need to finish this thing. As you can see, monsters are pouring out all over the place. And doors! 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 So many doors! Uh, floating Megasphere, we'll get to him. If I remember where the secret is, we'll get to him, that is. Uh, it does lower at some point uh, with a not very well executed... Um, ...invisible sector um, trick there. Not entirely sure why I did that particular secret that way. It's a bit of a weird approach. But it was 1995. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. As you, as you can see, lots of sexy, sexy doors all over the dang place. Yellow key um, is the exit, as I recall. Uh, do you think I have any idea where... Uh huh. There we go. One megasphere. Oh. Uh, red door. Other side of the map. So yeah, this is. A, uh, I guess a, a relic of you know it's, it's making you go everywhere I made this stuff damn it go and see the the room of nothing but Sean Tex woohoo you know that was worth visiting um the doors man the doors uh and then we are basically I think there's probably some monsters in here yep look at that Nab all of those. Actually got a decent amount of uh, chain gun ammo now. Oh, did miss a secret. Don't remember what it is. So I'll apologise in advance uh, to anybody who has... Um, ...been trying to max this particular map. Particularly anyone who's been trying to to do like a speed uh, run on it, um, you know, and do a and do a hundred percent, because frankly, back in 1995, I had very little idea about how monster pathing worked, uh, and so what this map features is basically the world's slowest monster teleport um, because I didn't actually know how to get them to really come out 
in an efficient manner. And so you will see the poor suckers who are trying to speed run this um, spending large amounts of time trying to trigger Wow, really? Okay, that was that was the secret. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Not just the monsters getting stuck on the doors here. Me too. Wasting a lot of the uh, health that we picked up from the Megasphere, but that's okay. This is not a particularly hard map set, as you might imagine. Having been made in 1995. The monsters that are teleporting in by the bar are all behind this door. Um, but they have to go no basically either over here to teleport or all the way over here to teleport. Um, where, of course, you know, generally speaking, they're going to want a path to he he this way, which makes them very slow, as I said, in coming out. So, yeah, apologies to anyone who's tried to speed run this and run into that problem. Um, yeah. Didn't understand how uh, monster pathing works and how they would try to find you, uh, and so that's why it's like that. Um, just sort of checking. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of ammo in here. Let's grab that. Okay, that ought to basically do us. Go to the, uh, the exit, which is, is literally just, you know... All the switches! And there you go. Oh, I suppose I better kill him. There we go. I won't do any more, though. We are now on map six. Um, I will post the next bit uh, in a few days. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Remember to save, Adam. Until next time.